<laughs> How you doing? Shout out Shed Jones, you know. Up, Still our high school coach Everybody football ready? team doing his thing. All right. We're gonna open it up for questions. Uh, before you let's ask you about Brian. Uh, you hate when something like that happens. Did, did you know when it happened in practice? Did you think, oh gosh, that could be bad? I did. Uh, I've had, I've experienced something like that before, and just hearing him yell like that, I knew that something bad had happened. But yeah, like you said, you always hate to see something like that happen to somebody. Especially when he's as tight as he is with you two guys. I mean, you guys all came in right. at the same time. And yeah. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting uh, him to be out for the whole season, uh, <clears throat> but. After seeing it and and getting the results back, uh, I can see that it's it's a tough loss for us, and we really could use them. How does that change? Uh, because obviously he's going to play a, a big role in this, but how's how does that change things for you? Got two steps in. How different does it look? Uh, as of right now, I think we're just in the process of trying to find somebody who's going to step up and fill in right there. Uh, Brian was a, a key player for us, and he's got big shoes to fill for anybody else that wants to step in and take his spot. Time for the return of J.P. Ola came into that spot, maybe? Uh, yeah. Uh, he's getting his knee right and things like that. Uh, we'll need him to step up. Also, uh, freshman Kamar Murphy. Do you use last year as motivation, or do you just hit the delete button and just cast it aside? Either one of you. Go ahead, Michael. You can answer that. Uh, I kind of say you got to use it as a little of both. You can't dwell on it too long because that's when it starts to get to you. But you also got to use it as, hey, we didn't really do anything last year, and we need to build on that. Like we got to take steps forward, learn from our mistakes that we did last year, and just continue to progress on that. Markel, was it kind of like uh, because there were times or flashes last year? Of really good stuff. When you look back on it, was it almost like a step forward, a step or two back, and then you, you kind of you never could get any rhythm? Do you, do you look at it that way, kind of? Uh, for me or the team? For the team. The team? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can say that. Uh, <coughs> I felt like uh, the youth to the team got to us at times, and uh, going against big elite teams like Kansas, Kansas State. Uh, I think we let it get to us, but uh, looking back on last year, uh, we got a lot to build from, and we got a lot of experience coming back. How does Marcus change the complexion of this team? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I, I, he changes it a lot uh, because of what he brings to practice. Uh, every day he's out there busting his tail, making guys better, and uh, playing a point guard role that uh, he haven't been playing very long. And he just go out there and give it his all. You guys have had talent, obviously, the last couple of years. It's always seemed like you were missing one key piece, maybe as somebody to be the hub and to be the distributor or whatever. Can you see that? I could definitely see him being that, uh, him playing the point guard position. He's a uh, He's an aggressive tacker up there, and so he's able to get in the paint, make good kicks outside, inside dish. So uh, I can definitely see him being just that, what we need. You mentioned it was an adjustment for him. He didn't play point guard you know, in high school. How is he looking right now? Uh, going back from the Spain trip, I, I say he's looking pretty good. Uh, he loves to share the ball with his teammates, and, and at times when he needs to score, he can do that also. So. He's improving. You played a little bit of point last year. I mean, is it kind of a by committee thing? You might be handling the ball some too, do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm quite sure I give him breaks off the ball. Uh, and it depends on how we're playing that game, uh, who's scoring, and things like that. When you've got a young guy coming in that's got a lot of hype around him, how much does it help you to, for you guys to be endeared to him when he is a guy that shares the ball, you know, like Marcus? apparently does. Uh, it helps us a lot because uh, not only 
is it good for us to know that we've got somebody to step in like that? But it's also good for his confidence as well because he's already got the crowd and everybody behind him. But uh, it just builds him up and shows him that he's got to do what he's got to do. He's come here. Uh, he's got the hype behind him, so he's got to back it up. But it also helps us out, though. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy to welcome a guy in and love a guy that's going to share, right? Always. <laughs> You mentioned improvement, Markel, and you shot it really well in Spain. Apparently, at least the numbers said that. And it seemed like near the end of last season, something clicked, like right before that game in Lubbock. Uh, how much better are you? How much more consistent do you feel you are shooting it from the outside? Uh, I feel I'm way more consistent than last year. Uh, I feel like I'm putting a lot more confidence in my shot, uh, knowing that uh, someone's have someone's going to have to take over that role because we don't have Keaton anymore. So I feel like uh, a lot of people on the team are stepping up and making shots now. You know, one of the things that one of your other freshmen, Phil, notorious for shooting, what, 600 jumpers a day or 600 threes a day. Yeah. Are you are you in Phil's category during the offseason shooting 600 a day? Uh, a little less than that, but <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's a great shooter, man. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to get on this shooting plan. Have you changed anything about your shot, or is it just a matter of getting more shots up and getting more confidence? I think it was a matter of getting more shots and more confidence. Uh, I felt like, I don't know, I took the back seat to shooting, and, and I feel like this year I really have to step up and make shots to help the team. How much stronger are you, Michael? Did you in the off season? What did you really work on to get better at for this year? Uh, mainly just physicality because uh, going through last season, it really showed me uh, what it was really like down low. Uh, I know I had the experience a little bit from Marshall and Matt just in practice, but then last year was just all hands on. You got to do what you got to do and man up, and that was something that I really took in. It was just the physicality, and then also like Markel said, just more confidence. Did you add any weight, or are you, are you any heavier than you were last year at this time? Or? Uh, about 220 right now. Who's going to surprise us on this team? Uh, the guy I think would surprise us on this team is Marek Shochek. Uh, he's been working real hard during the offseason. Uh, he's got a lot of confidence. Uh, he got experience from last season. He's, he's making shots in practice, uh, and he's playing big around the rim. So I think he'll be the most improved. You'll accept a little help down there around the rim, won't you? Yes. <laughs> how about a Kamari Murphy, a guy I'm sure you, you work a lot with against in practice? How, how's he looking? He's looking good. Uh, he brings a lot of energy to the table. Uh, just always active, moving around. Uh, I like his energy, and I like his work ethic, too. He's a, He can knock down shots from the outside. He's got good post moves. Uh, I just like what he brings to the table. Sometimes uh, teams can use a preseason poll as motivation to prove to other people that they're better than what they've been picked. But you guys are picked third by the coaches. Has there been much talk of, of that? Do you kind of take it and say, that's just a poll? How do you approach that? Uh, I, I think we take it as just a poll. Uh, uh, anything can happen in the Big 12s. Uh, you can be picked third and finish last in this league. So we just we just going to... Uh, Look at it as another poll and go out there and play hard. Hopefully, get in the number one spot. Anything else, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Thanks, guys. Bring a couple more guys.